This is going to be a video to help you write equivalent fractions in lowest terms. What I mean by that is I want to reduce my fractions so they're written in the smallest possible terms. Let's look at the first problem. The first problem is 24 divided by 32, or 24 over 32. Now I know since both 24 and 32 are even, I know I can divide them both by 2. But there's a bigger factor of both 24 and 32, and that's what I'm going to divide by. 24 and 32 both have a factor of 8. So I'm going to take and divide both the top and the bottom by 8. 24 divided by 8 is going to be 3, and 32 divided by 8 is going to be 4. So written in lowest terms, this is going to be 3 fourths, because the only common factor of 3 and 4 is 1. Let's look at the next problem. 15 divided by 24, or 15 20 fourths. Now if I look at this, uh, 15 does not, is not divisible by 2 because it's not even. So I know 2 isn't a factor of both of those. 5 isn't a factor of 24 because it doesn't end in a 0 or 5. So I know 5 isn't going to divide both those numbers. But if I add the 1 and the 5, that equals 6. 6 is divided by 3. So I know 3 divides 15. 2 and 4 also adds up to 6. So my divisibility rules for 6 tells me that since 6 is divisible by 3, that 24 is also going to be divisible by 3. So I'm going to divide both the 15 and 24 by 3. When I do that, 15 divided by 3 is 5, and 24 divided by 3 is 8. So this fraction written in lowest terms is going to be 5 eighths. Let's look at the last one. 35 divided by 45. They both end in a 5. Any number that ends in 5 or 0 can be divided by 5. So let's divide both the top and the bottom by 5. And when I do that, 35 divided by 5 is 7, and 45 divided by 5 is 9. So my answer is going to be 7 ninths.